Everybody wet their whistle. It's time to talk Star Wars. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Dad's React. My name's Clay. That guy's Corey. Uh, it is time for us to check out Ahsoka uh, Season 1, Episode 1, the pilot. Or, well, I mean, is it even a pilot anymore, Corey? Because it's we had her all over Mandalorian, all over Book of Boba Fett. So it's uh, it's it's. I'm glad she's getting her own show and we're getting this story and she's going after Thrawn. We're getting Thrawn. We're getting all this stuff. I'm stoked for it. Are you, you know about any of those names I told you about? <laughs> no, nah, I don't know about any of it. Like I'm just, <laughs> I'm just happy to be in the universe going for the ride. Like it looks they, cool. It looks fun. And I don't know. I didn't watch anything like normal. Cause I don't ever watch <laughs> TV unless it's this. Right. So I don't know anything like legit Jedi. Academy grad, I guess, is about all I know. And then, like, kind of was like, you know what? This doesn't really seem to be working out too well. And then... I'm not a Jedi anymore. Kinda, yeah. Right. And then that's that's basically the gist of what I, I know about them. She was Anakin's Padawan. That's all that matters. She was being trained by Anakin before he turned to be Invader. That's enough of that that's that's all you need to know which is why i like our react channel the best because because you're just here for good tv you're just here for good shows to watch and we got i mean so far especially mando season three was great and or let's just knocked it out of the park that was like i know that was like yeah, one of your favorites i really liked Andor. yeah so i mean and i'm it's good it's i mean it's it's season two is coming Whenever it comes, I mean, with the, with the writer's strike, who knows, or the actor's strike, who knows. But, um, yeah, so I'm excited. If you're new here, thanks for giving us a shot. We hope you like what you see. If you like what you see, give us a subscribe below. Do all the good YouTube stuff. It always helps us out. Um, if you're a returning fan of the show, thank you. Uh, if you were watched Star Trek um, with us, Star Trek Strange New World Season 2, that just wrapped up a few weeks ago. We had a little bit of a break. And, uh, yeah, time to get into Star Wars universe. So um, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And I just say we crank it to show up. Yep, let's go. I like the music already. Me too, the drums, the percussion. Ooh, all kinds of helmets. I Oh, oh okay. I don't even know where to start with the helmets. Pretty sure they'll end up in a Lego wall somewhere. Absolutely. <laughs> Time to read, Thanks. folks. Mm. I always love their opening shots. Starfield and then whatever big ass ship. I love spaceships in general, man. It's just fucking cool. <laughs> like everything about them. You guys are so tactical. It's hot. Oh man. I need to I need to see a scene of their boot camp and their instruction on why their helmets look the way they do and what protection <laughs> they provide. <laughs> just some overconfident imperial trash who just pushed their luck too far. Damn, the balls on this dude. <laughs> to show you our identification. <laughs> Oh, oh, we're just cutting people down right now. We are no Jedi. Man, Ray Stevenson. Gone too soon, bud. It's too bad. That guy's awesome. From all the way back in Rome. Did you ever watch Rome? On HBO? Oh. Two seasons. Great show. Oh, oh. God damn, he looks beefy as fuck. <laughs> Got some thick shoulder pads on, apparently. Ooh, I don't need a droid. Damn. There she is. From Book of Boba Fett. I respect his beard game. Yep, I like the music. I'm with you on that. I mean, most of them are pretty dope, but 
This one in particular is just unique, I feel. <laughs> Who did it better, her or the chicken underworld? I had to think for about a moment for about that part in the movie. I was like, <laughs> wait a minute. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I think anything with lightsabers just makes it like cooler just, by default. You know, just enough, a, whatever it is. That's vampire. That's, it's like an edge. almost right there. <laughs> it's almost as cool. Just like I mentioned last week, that... Um, with the Resident Evils, uh, all the Underworlds are my wife's other like guilty pleasure movies that are just just she'll watch whenever they're on. I feel like I'm playing Jedi Survivor right now, and it's what you know, it's one of those puzzles you have to solve. The Jedi <laughs> <Survivor>. <laughs> Ooh, them eye stones is crazy. Yeah, I don't like how I feel like they're looking at me. Indiana Jones, they got nothing on me. Is this the map you're looking for? I don't know. I'd be leery of anything in the ancient chamber. <laughs> yeah, don't don't release it. Don't unleash it. <laughs> yeah, right. All this for some kinetic sand. Damn it! <laughs> Sweet. Oh, that was clearly a stunt double, sadly. <laughs> Boys, you're traveling heavy. I got two guns, one for each of you. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like what you carrying in there, buds? Yo, that is coming. Damn. Those three little, those solid, three droids. It's a solid score earth policy right there. Right. Damn. If you can't have it, no one can. Still so fucking cool. I'll never get old to see. Was, I'll never get tired I was of seeing that. I piloting one of those other jets and it just sh <laughs> fucking Threw up or shit myself right there with that thing appearing like <laughs> that. <both. laughs> Golly. Briefing to get you caught up. Just like old times, unfortunately. Yeah, if you don't, if you just have time or you're cleaning the house, go just turn on Star Wars Rebels it's just in the background. You'll meet all these people and it is a fantastic show. And the key to activating it has eluded me. Shame on you, Android. <laughs> so Ezra's the main character from Rebels and last time we saw him he was taking Thrawn with the hyperspace whales we saw in Mando season 3 that were traveling while they were in hyperspace he was going with him Thrawn somewhere that we don't know that's why this is a whole big thing we dedicate here today stands in recognition of Commander Bridger and the I love this guy I like how everybody in Hollywood's like, hey, can I have a little part in Star Wars, just a little one? It's because all the people that are writing Star Wars grew up watching some of these people, and they're like, dude, I remember this guy from like that movie way back when, you know, and they're like, I want him in here now. Can we get him? I'm writing this part yeah. specifically for this guy. <laughs> yep. Who will share with us some words of wisdom. Delay. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Those are too close to the ground for me. <laughs> right, one one turn and swoop, there goes them toes. Does look super fun to ride though. Especially on a straightaway. Right, and that's all that road is. <laughs> Ooh, 
Yeah, not thanks, dude. All I'm looking at is her fucking feet. I just want you to know that all I'm looking at is her feet. Like, ooh. Blame the camera shot, man. I'm like, toes be dragging. Fuck that. Stand down, Commander. See, then you gotta push him even closer to the ground. It's horrible. <laughs> She's crazy. How much lower you wanted to go, bud? <laughs> I think they went real puppetry on that one. What an interesting looking creature. So you'll like her backstory. Well, at least you'll like her in general because she, while she's a Mandalorian, she's also like an artist. So she always spray paints everything. She flies, wears, rides, does anything. It's all her designs. Like she's, she changes it all on her own. She's cool. Nice. That's cool. Hey, Sabine. And there's Ezra. That'd be one tough block, man. Like, yeah, we grew up together. One of us became a Jedi. One of us became a Mando. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> no one's fucking with them. Right. You've got mail. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love her hair. That's the first time we've seen it like full light. Man, if I had hair. I'm gonna send Kim back to the stylist. Get that blue this and please. purple. <laughs> right? Well then. I'll be on the ship. <laughs> I think I know how to find Ezra. She's like, well, that was a great opening sentence. <laughs> I will not be ignoring you now. The map stays here. Okay. So, well, you ain't reading shit. I'm out. Sabine, you're going to want to hear. <laughs> and I'm out. And I turned your table off so your cup's on the fucking floor. <laughs> <laughs> Love how petty you can get. <laughs> <laughs> and I took your map. Oh shit. You're right. I would also leave their cup on the floor. I am that petty. Hmm. That's making probe droid noises, but it is a hell of a lot smaller than standard probe droids. Somebody got some upgraded tech. Oh, what a great shot. God damn, what a great shot. That's just that's just cool. I'm sorry. I just like how the bad guys now look more like bad guys. Right? Like they get on the screen and you're just like, oh, they're just here to fuck shit up. Well, the crazy part is, is if you notice their lightsabers aren't red, they're orange. So they're not totally like Sith. They're just not quite Jedi anymore either. They're kind of this gray yeah. area. It's cool. Like I'm not. I have a feeling they may not end up being like the maybe bad at all. I don't know. We'll see. I could say that. I mean, they may them. They may not be the big bad. We know they're not going to be. You know, huge bad guys. I don't know. But they are helping the bad guys right now. So, but they're not completely Sith. I don't know what that means. I've been fighting the urge to not lean closer to the screen to look at what she's looking at. <laughs> like, oh. Hello. <laughs> she's still just as stubborn and bullish as ever. She's Mandalorian. <laughs> right. Before the end of the Clone Wars, I walked away from him and the Jedi, just like I walked away from Sabine. I'm detecting a pattern. I thought that other thing on the table was it for a moment and it was like already open and I was like oh man that cat came over there the whole time she was like in her own little world and did something <laughs> stupid cat
Wait. If it just spun all that, just fucking, I would just be spinning the shit out of it every which way, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, right, dude. That thing might blow up on you. I wouldn't move any of that until no, I was I sure. Was all of it. Spin all of it. Okay. This is it. Where's that? <laughs> I think I'm going on a trip. On your favorite rocket ship. Oh, shit. What the? Oh, let's, let's not punch robots, though. I mean, that seems a little bit... It's like punching a guy in a hockey mask while he's still wearing the mask. Unnecessary, sir. Yes, that was awesome. Yeah, grab his gun. Uh, there goes your Achilles, bitch. We have a problem. Okay. <laughs> Sabine had been checking that puzzle for like until nightfall, and them girls just gabbing on FaceTime that entire time. <laughs> Get your Mandalorian gear on, girl. And the saber. Uh-oh. That's too bad. She's got a little Padawan braid going on there. I'd be smelling burning hair right now. Shit. Ooh. Mm -mm. Girl, I feel like you're getting toyed with. I'm just, I'm just saying it. There. I see them. Bring us in. Mama gonna drop down, take care of business. Oh shit, girl! Ooh. Ooh, damn. That had to hurt. Yeah, was that anything vital? What you doing though? You alright? Would you go to credits? They're gonna do it. Oh, they said it for oh, that's so sad. So with Ray Stevenson. So the guy who ah, oh, that's so That's cool. Oh, Woo, way to end it. Man. They're like, did we just cast her just for one just for one episode? Are we going to have Sabine back? Was that I feel like there may not be anything important over there. Maybe not too much maybe not too important. It can't be fixed by a by a back to tank or something. That's all. Hopefully. Yeah, I feel like we've seen people recover from worse. Way worse. Know? Absolutely. And with and, and with and without someone getting there quickly. Right. They literally <laughs> showed right up, like pick her up, toss her in the back to the tank. Everything's fine. It's all fine. <laughs> all right. Well, so knowing your fit knowing your enjoyment of Andor, what's your thoughts on the first episode of Ahsoka? Being somebody who doesn't know the story, do they do a good enough job? getting the overarching what we're going for out there. I think they're heading in the right direction. Like you're kind of getting the buildup of the story and you got a little bit background information, like let's meet some characters. And then there's probably like other people on the couches like you going, okay, quickly, that is, <laughs> and you're like, okay, okay, okay. And then like you can focus right. on the show, you, you know? Um, remember remember Amanda when I freaked out about Zeb Aurelio showing up to get the purple guy? Mm -hmm. Like he's from Rebels as well, and you saw him in the picture on that yeah. that like cartoon drawing. Like he's there too. Yeah. So like, I don't know if he's gonna show up in this season. They haven't showed him in the trailers, but um, everybody else from the show is showing up hopefully. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that there's a reason they dropped two episodes today or yesterday, whatever day they dropped them, uh, because you know they're they, they may need two to to get everybody hooked. You know what I mean? To like, especially for folks who who don't know or haven't watched Rebels, it may take these two episodes to get you like it's almost like a movie saying, OK, 
here's our here's our plot here's our goal for the season now go forth and watch with all the knowledge you need. I think they did enough in the first episode alone. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. I, I always judge it off how you take it, since you don't consume the media as much as I have. So that's good. Um, great first episode. I enjoyed it. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, yes. I. You know, it's hard to get... It's hard to not... I don't know if you do this, too, but it's hard to not get sad, like knowing that Ray Stevenson is like no longer with us. It's like, it sucks to see him in a, in a show where you're like, like, I, and like I said, I was following him since I watched him in Rome. And this is like two things. It's like the, one of the first series, like my wife and I ever watched together. Like it was like Rome was, was it. And we loved it. And he was in it. And, and that's as far back as I remember like that actor and for him to, you know, pass suddenly sucks. So it's like, at the end of this season, you're like, well, that's going to be it. Like for him, whether or not they decide to recast or whatever, it's like, ugh, that sucks. So, yeah, I don't. Anyways. I don't feel about. I don't feel that way about <laughs> anybody in, in in the movie industry or music or anything like that. It's, I don't because because I don't know him. Like right. that's just it. True. It's like True. I don't I don't know him. If if maybe there was some kind of other than I saw you in a some type of media. You know, mm-hmm. I never, I never understood the, uh, I'm super sad. So-and-so died today. I'm like, you don't even know him, man. Like that guy could be a complete <laughs> fucking asshole. You just like him in movies. True. True. He could be a dick. You never know. But yeah. So, well, he's, this is, I think this may be his, this show may be his last thing. I don't know if he did anything else after this before he died, but anyways, it's cool. They, they dedicated, uh, this to him. So that's cool. Anyways, uh, everybody, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is episode one. We'll be back shortly, soon, with episode two. And, uh, yeah, if you like what you see, consider doing all the YouTube subscribing stuff below. And uh, if not, thanks for giving us a shot. We'll catch you guys next time. <laughs> see you guys. <laughs> I like that. Thanks for giving us a shot.